morning guys so today i'm going to be doing a bit of a haul video um i i think i've done like one haul on my channel before like years ago i never really did like haul videos um because when i go shopping i don't ever feel like i need to do haul videos or like so i feel like it might be a bit boring or a bit long to do haul videos and yeah i just i don't know i just never really think about doing haul videos when i go shopping I don't always buy that much when I go shopping. But yeah, so you guys can tell by the title this is going to be like a holiday haul kind of thing. So I've recently been away with my mum. We went away on Monday 22nd and we got back yesterday, which is Friday 25th. And today, as I'm filming this, is Saturday 26th. Um, and we got a few bits while we were there and I just felt like I wanted to share it with you guys. So I thought, why not? Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like cool videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Share the love in the comments. Hit that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family. And turn on post notifications so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. And there are just some free ways that you can help me out. So yeah. So I've got this bag, like a super drug bag of things, plus two, a couple extra things that aren't in the bag. So I'm just going to start putting things out the bag and then carrying on. So first of all I've got these leaflets um, because me and my mum stayed at Butlins in Minehead and like Butlins Holiday Resort and it's quite good. There's always something going on, there's things for everyone to do and there's places to eat on the resort, there's like a couple shops and it's really good. <clears throat> so this is just like the sort of schedule of like what's on which is quite cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep these leaflets or chuck them yet, but these are just things I've got at the minute. But yeah, the What's On leaflet I've still got. <coughs> and we also picked up this like sort of leaflet about prices of like where you can stay on the resort and stuff. And like the different sort of rooms, I guess, like little apartments you can stay out there, which is quite handy. <coughs> definitely gonna keep that one I think and then we also got given this have a great safe holiday leaflet and like it just says about like general safety accidents illness out and about child safety open water um, everything really it's quite handy site safety swimming pools fire safety accommodation accommodation safety public buildings gas safety it's quite handy really so <clears throat> that's always good Got a receipt from something we bought. This one is just the map of like the holiday resort um, and to like help you get around if you get lost or confused and just sort of give you an idea of where everything is. And then this leaflet, I'm not going to show you the front of because it's got my mum's details on it. Um, basically just says about our booking and like our details for where we're staying um, and a few things about out of stay kind of thing and like our food plan and like our package but yeah so first thing I well I'm not doing it I'm not doing this in any type of order but the first thing that I'm pulling out one of the things that I actually bought um, was this um, dream catcher Apparently dream catchers may catch bad dreams. Um, if you're like spiritual or religious, you might believe a lot in dream catchers. If you guys understand or know anything about dream catchers, please let me know in the comments. Um, but I thought this one was really cool. I used to have one when, when I was younger. Um, I don't know if they actually work. I never felt like it worked if people still had bad dreams. Um, and my, 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 ugh, if I can talk. And my mum used to have dream catchers, but she never felt like they worked for her either. Um, this one's just got wolf on it, I thought it was really cool. So I'm sort of going for a bit of like a hippie, kind of chilled, cool vibe in my room. And like I've got my tapestry sheets and stuff. Um, and it's got these cool like feather tassels. And um, I actually liked it and it's nice blue. This was a 3 99 I can't remember what shop exactly I got it from. I don't know. I can picture it in my head but I can't remember the name of it. It was along the seafront somewhere. Um, yeah, but that was cool. Next I have these two lynxes that I got from Tesco's. I did get a third one as well. I got the um, Lynx Excite, which is in my bag at the minute. 
because uh, they were on sale for like £1.10 each so I picked up three. Um, this is Lynx Africa which is my, apart from Lynx Excite and Lynx Africa are my favourite Lynxes and I used to be obsessed with Lynx and I haven't had them in so long. But yeah, so that's Lynx Africa. This is Lynx Dark Temptation. I can't remember exactly what it smells like. I've never personally had it, but I think I smelled it on other people before. And um, yeah, so I've got three Lynxes, one which is in my bag, like I said. And um, yeah. And then I got this handbag um, from like a like bag shop and they sell like good quality bags and like leather bags and stuff. I've got a few things in here of like other things that I bought while I was away. Um, but yeah. So it's got like a big long strap and then a little strap and it's sort of got like that goldish like hardware and it's got this little well sort of decent pocket in the front and it's just got the tassels at the front to like tighten it and stuff and then we just yeah that's what I don't really know I never really know how to like describe bags but yeah you can sort of see what it looks like it's kind of like a little bucket bag kind of thing it was quite nice. I can't remember exactly. I think it was £17 for this. I think. <laughs> I can't remember now. So one of the other things I bought was this waistcoat. Um, it can be done up because it's got like, little buttons on it. Um, but I'm too big to do it up. <laughs> I'm a bit of luxury. But like open, it fits me well. I got it from like a vintage sort of charity shop. Um, but it's originally from Monsoon, it's size 10. Um, I can't remember exactly how much this was either. I think it was like 18 or 15 pounds. And um, yeah, it's very nice, very posh, very snazzy. Quite liked it, thought it was very cool. The I think the shop I got, got that from was called Wombledon, or Wombledon. I don't really know how to say it. It's like a charity, sort of vintage, snazzy charity shop. And then I got this little like thing here. Um, which you guys might be looking at thinking, what is that? Um, it's basically, it's a pop-up water bowl. It's a pop-up um, rubber water bowl for dogs. And it's got like a little keyring on it. I have a lurcher um, and lurchers are basically very similar to whippets and greyhounds. They're all sort of like related. Whippets, greyhounds and lurchers are all like the same. Whippets and greyhounds are more popular, lurchers are a bit more rare, so it's hard to find things like lurchers on. So we've got this one that says greyhound on it. It says all you need is love and your greyhound. <coughs> um, lurchers are a bit of a smaller version of greyhounds, and then whippets are smaller than lurchers. Um, greyhounds have like longer, skinnier faces and noses, um, but lurchers basically look the same as greyhounds. Um, so we got that for Sky, it's like a little travel pop-up water bowl and you can like just pop it back in again, um, which is cool. And that's basically all rubber and it's kind of like hard plastic around the edge. That was very nice. Um, I can't remember exactly how much this was either. Um, we got it from like some sort of little market shop, I think. And then we just have this little like Minehead Shoppers Guide, which we picked up in one of the shops that we were at, <laughs> which is quite good. Um, we have we didn't end up using it while we were away, but it'll be good for like if we go back to Minehead. Um, so yeah, that's always handy. And I quite like leaf leaflets to be fair. Quite like a leaflet person. So yeah. And then I got these two like little glittery stick on tattoos. This one's just an eagle, which I thought was quite cool. They were one twenty five each, so that was two pound fifty for these tattoos. Um, and then this one's a wolf with feathers and also an axe with feathers. You can sort of see that. Um, yeah, they're really cool. And um, I might put I might put the eagle on my forearm and then the wolf I might put on like my shoulders sort of there, top of my arm. And like the little axe one, I might put on my other wrist. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably do a video about it as well, so watch out for that. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is this little key ring which I got from a little market shop and um, this is £2.99 and um, it says I saw this and thought of you so I'm guessing it's like a gift, it was on like the gift row um, but I got it for myself. <laughs> like it says life is good enjoy the ride and it's got a picture of a VW van 
because I'm a little bit of a video van obsession, so yeah. Video transporter, my favourite vehicle, so yeah. Got that, I'm gonna stick it on my keys or something, I'm not sure yet, <laughs> but um, or like, I'm gonna either stick it on my keys or on the side of my bag, like hang up my bag, but um, yeah, that was really cool. And then I got this bracelet, this is a star sign bracelet, for, I got it for 5 99 which I thought was a bit pricey for it, which I thought was a bit pricey for a like thin bracelet, delicate bracelet, but oh well. Um, it's made by Bijou, Bijou, uh, Fleur, I don't really know how you say that name to be fair. Um, so I got Sagittarius because <coughs> Sag Sagittarius is my like birth month, my star sign. <coughs> Um, I think Sagittarius goes from the 22nd of November and it goes up until December 21st and my birthday is December 21st. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my legs hurting a little bit. Um, so on the like little cardboard thing it says, oh, November 23rd to December 21st. It says, the archer, fire sign, you are humorous and honest. And I can be very funny sometimes and I'm definitely very honest. And um, yeah, I just got Sagittarius there with like a little sort of pink gem thing and like a little silver heart and um, it is adjustable as well you can like use these bits to like adjust it which is good and then I have this like little sort of mini plate thing ring holder I don't really know exactly what this is meant to be used for but I really liked it and thought it was really cool I got this for 4 99 so it's just like silvery and um it's got like a really cool pattern around it i don't really know exactly what pattern that is and then it's got the i'm not sure what type of sun this is meant to be either but it's got like a cool sun in the middle and um, with it almost looks like it's sad but i think it's gonna be a happy face <laughs> um, and then for some reason it's got like three like little holes in the mouth area if you can sort of see that um but yeah that's really cool i might see if i can like put it up on my wall somewhere um if not i'll probably put it on my dressing table or back there on that cupboard thing i have um but yeah i'm gonna find some sort of use for it so next thing i have wrapped up looks like the paper you get when you go to a fish and chip shop <laughs> so this um it's a bit annoying it's like one of them wind chime things and then it's got like a free dog fan kind of thing, which is totally my thing. And obviously it's got like the tubes and like the circular centerpiece, which you can sort of see there. And then going down on the bit of string in the centre, it's like this cool like ball thing. I don't know exactly what you call it. But yeah, so that's very snazzy. Um, I got it for $6.99. Um, yeah, I got it for $6.99 out of like a market shop, which is really cool. And I'm trying to probably hang out in front of one of my windows or on my wall over there by my tapestry sheets. Hopefully it doesn't get tangled. <laughs> and then I just have the Sagittarius star sign magnet, which I'm going to put on my mini fridge that I have in my room, which my iPad is leaning on right now, which I'm filming on. <clears throat> so I got this for 1 99 out of like the little market shop down the seafront kind of thing so Sagittarius it says an opt optimist who is lucky generous and confident a curious free spirit that may become li a little restless yes I can get restless no I'm not that confident but I think I could be confident if I wanted to be um or if I like put effort into it optimist um some ways I'm lucky yes other ways no I'm not lucky Generous, yeah, I am quite generous. Curious, yes. Free spirit, sometimes. <laughs> um, it says November 22nd to December 21st. And it says turquoise, Jupiter and fire. So that's really cool. I've been really getting into like hippie sort of stuff and like star sign stuff recently. So if you guys have any like sort of advice for like hippie stuff for um, star sign stuff or any like tips or any knowledge you wanna share with me, please let me know in the comments. So that's everything that I'd sort of tucked inside the grey handbag that I showed you guys. So I've got one more thing, or like two more things inside the pink super drug bag to show you guys. Um, that I kept from Butlins, or bought at Butlins, or Minehead. So I have this um, 
Scotland's leaflet pack, which like some of our leaflets came in. Um, so we picked up this one leaflet from a shop, um, like the bag shop where I got this bag from. Um, and it just says about their website and where you can like find them on online. And then we also got left this like little sort of welcome letter when we arrived in our room, which was quite good. Um, I have this diversity leaflet because I went to a diversity dance academy while um, I was at Butlins, which is really cool. I went to the dance, like, a dance academy with diversity on Thursday morning at 11am and it went on for an hour and it was really good and the whole group was there and it was fabulous. And um, yeah, so I still got that leaflet. Um, I don't want to show it too much just because it has got my mum's name on it. Um, I don't want to like completely share her real full name. <laughs> and then I just have this like little leaflet because there was this really cool um, street, street Circus crew that performed in the Skyland Pavilion on the Bolin Slotley Resort. And this is a leaflet I got about their group from their little like sort of merch stand. So that was cool. Next thing, talking about while we're on the topic of that SVX Street Circus group that we saw perform in the Skyline Pavilion on Butlins Minehead Resort. Um, after their show, I picked up their poster from the merch stand. This was £5, I think, I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, so that was really cool. And they signed it for me as well, you can kind of see their signatures. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. I would definitely check them out. They are really cool and they're really talented. Um, so I need to find a place, a special place to put that up in my room. But yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out SBX Street Circus. They were fabulous indeed. And then also I got this diversity jumper. Diversity! Um, it's just a black hoodie because obviously I went to their dance academy in the morning on Thursday um, and then in the evening we saw them perform um, on the Butlins Resort in like the centre stage area and, and they had like a little merch stand with like tops, key rings, jumpers, they might have had magnets I'm not sure but yeah I got, um, they had red tops, red hoodies and then black tops and black hoodies um, and I got a black hoodie in a size medium so yeah, I'm really excited to wear that when it's cold because um, it's too hot at the moment to wear a kind of thick jumper. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was £32 or 30, I think it was 35 And then going back to SPX Street Circus, um, I picked up one of their tops after their show. So it just looks like that at the front. And then on the back it just says SPX at the top and then they also signed it for me as well. So that was very cool. Um, it smells up my links because I wore it like twice while I was at Butlins and spread links over myself. Um, I got this in a size medium as well. This was £10 I think. I can't remember exactly now. I've gone a bit mad. But um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then on the topic of clothing, we went, m me and my mum went down to like down the road kind of thing, down the high street, down the seafront, whatever you want to call it. I went to a charity shop and I picked up this men's top um, apparently it's meant to be extra large but I I can fit into like a men's medium and even that's still a bit like still sometimes slightly baggy for me but this was like kind of fitted around the arms and only ever so slightly loose around like my torso area so I don't see how it's an extra large for men um, but it's really cool it's just a long sleeve top um, and it's just got the cool like stripes around the sleeve and it's just like circular neck kind of thing. I got this for like three quid from the charity shop, so that was really cool. I don't know exactly what make it was, but it's really comfy, so yeah. And the last two things I want to show you guys. Um, I got this handbag for while well, I was in Butlins from like the bag shop bag shop that my mum me and mum went to that I mentioned earlier. Um this like the brand of this bag is Journey, Juni, I don't really know how to say that, but yeah. Um, and I do like good quality bags and like leather bags and stuff and like canvas bags. Um, so I got this grey one. Um, 
it £25? I can't remember exactly. But um, so that was really cool. I did a what's in my bag video um, like the other day about like what I carried in my bag while I was at Butlins and I showed this bag because I was using this one. And um, so yeah, go check that video out. I can't already. And then I also got this wallet to match it because look, my little mini black rucksack broke before I went away so that's kind of partly why I want another bag and also I did want another like shoulder bag and also my wallet that I've been using the zip kind of broke so I needed a new wallet anyway this um, sort of matches my bag in a way it's a very nice blue um, this is made like branded by Metro and it's got three pockets the back pocket I've got my cards in front pocket I've got like change and then this little front pocket here I've just got a lip balm my ID and two hair bands um, and then <coughs> it's just got the strap that you can attach to the side which is pretty cool sorry guys my mum just called me so I had to um, go and help with hanging out washing so that is the bag and the wallet I got um so yeah I think that is pretty much everything that I got while I was at Butlins so I don't have anything else to show you guys make sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family and turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video and share the love in the comments and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching guys bye